Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Foriam and welcome to the Impossible series. A series where I cheat a little bit to showcase impossible and crazy things in Minecraft Dungeons. I will show you overpowered enchantment combos which are either extremely difficult or even impossible to get your hands on in the game. This is my playground character, which I use to show you everything insane in Minecraft Dungeons. So make sure to leave a comment about what you want to see next. This video was made for showcase purposes only. I don't use or trade any items, they're all destroyed in the end. Messing with the game files can ruin your save file. None of this is recommended, don't try this at home. Oh, and also let's wear hard while making this video. Sushi. Alright, so here we are once again in the base camp with a new impossible episode. You guys know that I love to make builds that hit like a truck, pretty much one hit kill, destroy bosses and pretty much everything else in the game. This sometimes though is pretty difficult to get your hands on with the perfect enchantments, but today I thought like maybe we can go for some artifact damage with cooldown reduction. So for this build guys we're gonna focus on bimping this planet rope with already plus 50% artifact damage, another built in minus 40% artifact cooldown, of course another built-in cooldown with a gilded, and three more cooldown reductions. So you can tell that we will have insane cooldown reduction, pretty much instantly resetting every single artifact we use. So in combination with that, I'd love to test the Satchel of Elements, as they can summon lightning from the skies, destroy all the enemies around you, and of course what is also going to be insanely fun to check out is the Windhorn, because this one pushes enemies away from you and slows them briefly, but if we can spam them 24-7, that means we can knock enemies off the map on different missions, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So both have a 10 second cooldown, right? But I am very curious how long the cooldown will be when I go with a full cooldown reduction. So let's just equip the Splendid Rope, one of the Wind Horns, and also one of the Satchel of Elements. And uh, guys, before we get started, I also have a Swift Striker right here with some pretty decent enchantments, nothing too fancy. But then if we have a look at this Veiled Cross, though, I went balls deep on this one. I mean, we put increased luck on this bad boy. Not really sure if it's gonna work, but it would be pretty interesting to know that for future showcases, right? Let's check it out. Right now we have a full purple build. I think this is gonna be pretty epic. All right, so normal cooldown on the wind horn and a satchel of elements is 10 seconds. Right now when I use the wind horn, one, two, three, four, five, and he's already on cooldown. Exactly the same, of course, with the Satchel of Elements. So five seconds cooldown without any cooldown reduction yet. So let's just put these bad boys to the maximum, right? One, that's minus 38% artifact cooldown already. Then we have number two, and then number three. Oh boy, this is gonna be madness. Here we are, look at that. Literally one and a half second cooldown or something. This is madness. All right, let's see, click one, Two, okay, well, one, two, click, one, two, man, this is below two seconds cooldown, this is gonna be madness. Man, I wanna check this out on different levels, on the redstone mines we can easily knock enemies off the map, but then also the mushroom monstrosity level is gonna be pretty interesting for the satchel of elements, right? Let's first check out the redstone mines with a full windhorn build so we can knock them off the platforms. Oh man, I can't wait to see the Illagers. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's uh, destroy this zombie. Oh, that was already a perfect placement right there. But um, I am not really sure if this has a lot of potential for uh, the highest apocalypse plus. I can already knock away the creepers though. This is pretty interesting. Oh man, let's uh, run away a little bit. Position ourselves a little bit better. Uh oh, this is a problem. Let's see. Nice, perfect. Ouch! Okay, that was a bad idea, but uh, we're just gonna run through and um, we'll see what happens when we get to one of those uh, places where you have the bridges. Man, this build is overpowered. Look at this! I can just keep knocking them away without a problem. Alright, let's first clean up the mess right here, guys, because these bad boys are extremely annoying. Just gonna take them down one by one. And then, oh boy, we can start using the Windhorn and oh, big thanks for the thief armor. Anyways, look at this, guys. Bam, we can just use our, <laughs> our wind horn and make him go into the abyss. Oh, this is just fantastic. Here we go, another one. Look at that. Boom, boom. Ouch, oh boy. We get destroyed by the cart right there. But uh, that's cool, guys, that's cool. Right now it is time for revenge. Oh man, this is easy mode. Look at all the zombies just flying away. 
every single time when I use these. Bam! Once again. Here we go. Rip in pepperonis, guys. Ooh, that was really close. Oh, man. Look at this. All right, here we go. Another one. Oh, man, that was fun. But I think we saw enough of the Wind Hordes. Let's uh, try a triple satchel of elements right now. This is going to be madness. Oh, man, I can't wait to toast these um, mushrooms. So we're going to travel to the Mushroom Monstrosity Highest Apocalypse Plus and see how fast we can take it down. And, of course, all the smaller ones. So, the Satchels of Elements are already power level 262, right? They're gonna deal twice as much damage in comparison with a 251, so I think this is gonna be madness. Alright, so here we go. New objective, Moo. Oh yes, we're gonna start a barbecue right here, guys. Look at this! Oh man, insta-kills. This is just fabulous. Look at that. Oh man. We just have this every single second, and we even leveled up as well. This is just glorious, man. All right, here we go. Coming in, striking lightning. Man, I feel like Zeus right here. Of course, if it doesn't pop up, it's too bad, but uh, I think our chances are already pretty cool. Next up. Ooh. Poor guys, poor guys. Oh boy, that was brutal right there as well. And the cool thing is they also burn up so fast, guys. I mean, look at this. Oh, wait a second. We uh, just instantly destroy them every single time. Oh man, look at this! We are just making dinner so fast with a with a cooking man. We're making burgers 24/7, and the lightning strikes, man. They hit like a truck, and oh, we just found the unique guys. Does this mean that uh, my luck of the sea on my crossbow is also uh, triggering this? That would be so cool. Oh man, the lightning strikes—they are so much fun. All right, here we go. Okay, we don't one hit kill them, but uh, with three hits, I think that's already pretty cool, right? Alright, we're getting closer and closer to the Mushroom Monstrosity. But first, of course, we're gonna flip some more burgers right here. Man, look at that damage. It is brutal. As well as the lightning. Oh man, I can't wait to see how fast we can melt this one. Are you guys ready for it? I think, I think we should go with um, a Gong of Weakening as well. So uh, then it is gonna begin even more interesting. So we're gonna use the Gong. And then that we're gonna start using our lasers. Gang of Weakening. Fire. Fire. Come on. Give me the lightning. There it is. There it is. Oh, it just dropped me in the pit, guys. Let's uh, use our potion for a second. Gong him once again. First, uh, clean up the mess right here. Yes, this is it. This is it. This is it. All right, let me just gong him once again. Bam. All right, we gong them once again. Look at that, guys. Look at the lightning strikes. Nice. We destroyed him with the final strike as well. Sweet. We also find a vote caller. And um, one move is after me. But he is already gone. Man, 13 million on each hit. That is brutal, right? I think you guys already have an idea of what I can do next. Oh, man. This literally feels like playing God in Minecraft Dungeons. I feel so powerful. All right, so there you have it, another insane showcase for this impossible series in Minecraft Dungeons. What are your thoughts? Definitely make sure to leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. And of course, if you have a suggestion for the next episode, also let me know. Anyways, a big thanks for watching. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed watching this one. And if you are new to the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. It is entirely free and a lot more dungeons is coming your way. Right now though, it is 4am out. Time to work on my next project. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.